e cart's been broken for the past couple of weeks. Joe was driving it, the whole motor twisted due to the aluminum bending on the motor mount. And I wasn't sure how strong this aluminum mount was gonna be. Completely sheared off the sprocket teeth when the chain ripped off. Octro and Co got a new sprocket made up, which is the motor and controller under the gas tank screen, which makes this thing what it is. And now is to make a new motor mount. It's gonna go over the front of it. That way this doesn't happen again. I have a hole saw, we're gonna cut a big hole in this. And just a 90 weld and get this thing all fixed up. If you missed the past couple of videos on how I built this and the first run, I'll leave them linked below or in the corner right here so you can get caught up to speed. Boom, like that, the cart is back in business. Thanks to Joe Spiderbill for hooking it up, getting this thing welded up. He actually gusseted it for some extra security. It's bolted in on the bottom, it's bolted in on the side. Should never twist again. I'm gonna test it today, then I'll come back and I'll cut off these edges, make it look a little bit cleaner, paint it up, and it'll be dialed in. So, of course, I couldn't get PVC big enough to go over these 11 inch tires. Next best thing, Home Depot buckets. Actually fit perfectly over the tires. I'm gonna cut it, and that'll be my drifting sleeves. I probably could just run it like this, jam it over, and I know it's just gonna slide off once I get going. Somebody has the hookup on some 11 inch PVC pipes. They were like $400 when I looked it up. Let me know. I prefer to do it the right way and have some thick PVC that'll last longer than what this is gonna last. And I can keep a set of wheels with PVC on it all the time. Boom, there we go. Boom, there we go. Got one sleeve, slide right over. Boom. All right, we're ready to go. Before I put these on, let's go rip it around so you guys what this cart can actually do. That I can run it without having to worry anything is gonna break. The cart surprisingly isn't too heavy. It barely fits in my short box. As always, I'll grab my torque strap. This is the best tie down you can get from just tying down boxes, storage, go-karts, dirt bikes, quads, side-by-sides. have this torque down technology which locks it in place and if it were to loosen up, it tightens even tighter. So you're never gonna have to worry about your strap coming undone. Torquestrap.com, I'll leave a link below. Pick yourself up a set and you'll never go back to the old ratchet or pull tie downs. All I have to do is pull it tight, locks in place, and this thing isn't going anywhere. All right, boom, you're good to go. So I have my Chai battery systems, 72 volt max Suron battery. That's why I called this a Suron cart previously when I first built it. Battery has more than enough power. I'll leave Chai battery systems link below if you want to get like five or 10% off your order and save yourself a couple hundred bucks by using my code. All right, let me show you what this 80 mile an hour electric death e-cart can do from Electro & Co. If you're new and you want to see more e-cart videos, I have a ton of content coming out. Make sure you're subscribed. And if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll build a replica of this. I'll buy a brand new roller shifter cart hook it up with the Electro & Co kit. I'll give one of these away to you guys. So run up the like and leave a comment if you'd want to win one of these things. This is my test cart and with that thing, we'll have all the kinks worked out of a sick one of a kind electric cart that you can't buy. Uh oh, we already got security on me. How's it going? It's electric, so I figured this would be a good spot to test it out. Roadways are public. So I can go down the road right here, but just not in here. So I mean, it's up to you if you want to turn your head or maybe I'll park down the street. Well, he didn't care. He just said I can't ride in here. I can't go here. There is nothing. 
nothing more fun than this. This is the best thing that I have, like unlike anything else. All right, quickly cutting into this video, I wanna thank Velotrick for sponsoring this and making this whole video possible. In the box, it comes with everything you're gonna need from the tool bag with all the tools required to put it together. There's not a ton of assembly. They make it super easy to take it out of the box and be riding within probably 20 minutes. This is the all new Velotrick T1 ST, which is one of the lightest pedal assist electric bikes on the market right now. It basically looks like a normal bike. If it weighing just 36 pounds, it's easy to move around, throw in a truck, throw in your car. So testing numerous other e-bikes, I think this is the bike that I would recommend to pretty much everybody that wants to get an e-bike. It's super easy to use and it's really affordable. This has some of the smoothest power I felt on an e-bike. The smooth power makes it comfortable in city streets. You can do a little bit of off-road. It's honestly the perfect commuter or just cruise around bike. It has a peak power of 600 watts, up to 52 miles, which is insane. The max speed is 20 miles an hour or unlockable to 25 miles an hour. It has five different power modes. I prefer to just run in the turbo mode, the max power. One push, hold it down, it turns the bike on. And then to switch to the modes you just click the button go through the power levels right here just up and down cycle through the modes and have a phone mount already integrated into the stem they give you this little mount you stick onto the back of your phone case just attach your phone have your phone right there while you're riding huge feature on the velotrick app once you pair your bike to your phone you can locate it with find my iphone if somebody steals your bike it's connected to your phone and you can pinpoint where the bike is at all times and you'll be able to track them down that's a huge selling feature to me and why i think this bike is better than a lot of other e-bikes I'm gonna put this up to max power. Off road, on road, as you can see, it pedals through the grass just fine. Basically, like you're not even pedaling, it's just doing it all for you. And once you're on the road, bump it up, and then you're cruising. I'm barely pedaling, it's doing all the work for me. Couldn't get any easier than that. So, if you want to check out Velotrick, I'll leave it the top link down below in the description. Definitely check out Velotrick, they have a bunch of different bike options. And you can use discount code Tyler60 for $60 off your order. And once again, thank you to Velotrick for sponsoring this video. I got busted by security over here, said I can't ride in here. The Cops might come literally five seconds into riding this. <laughs> the tires got sticky, it's just flinging up so many rocks right now. Got the high speed gearing on here, so it doesn't have a ton of torque. video when I did the speed runs at like 70 it was getting like super twitchy it's the smallest gearing I could get to get the top speed I want to get it to over 100 I think 80 is fine for now Needs bigger gauge wire, it gets a little warm. Try not to hammer on it for too long. Of course, I have a semi-flat tire. Of course, I don't have a pump, so. Of course, this one isn't gonna work since it needs air in the tire. Story of my life, I gotta run back home and get an air pump. Fill these up with a little air and it should stay on. Oh yeah. Oh no. Stand back just in case it blows up. All right, 35 PSI. All right, we're good. Ah, uh, no way. It's, oh. All right, 60 PSI and these things shouldn't come off. It should be good after this. Hit a little more, 70 PSI. We're driving back and forth four times. The last chance. Here we go. We really have to feather the throttle. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> Man, shout out Home Depot. <laughs> Just too much fun already. <laughs> Smell it melting.
<laughs> well, part two coming soon when I actually can legitimately do it. Buckets are hammered. Thought they'd last a little longer than that, but once they broke through on the middle. So if you want to see a part two, subscribe when I get the legit stuff. I'm afraid these things are going to blow up. Put some air out before they do that on me. I know they're not rated for 60, 70, 80 PSI. Motor mount held up. Little by little, we're getting this thing dialed in. So I'm going to get the cart loaded up. Like I said, if you guys are new, subscribe. If you want to see more e-cart videos, give me some ideas and content I can make with this. If you want to see what's going down before the videos come out, you can follow my Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan, along with my Snapchat now I've been posting a ton on. If you guys want to see what's going down.